Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So here I want to cover what you should spend your first 30 enchanted keys on. Whether you got them from the store or through VIP. You should be able to upgrade 3 epic companions to mythic using companion tokens. This is an example selection here for an end game damage dealer of what's currently like best in slot. Other than having the Batiri which I'll mention later, you should already get a legendary. Now this is for newer players, returning players, and perhaps you even miss out on this even if you're an older player and have played for quite a while. So let's dive into all the details. So enchanted keys you generally just get from the Zen market. The only exception is battle passes which will give you like two free ones here, another two here. But they sell keys directly in the key section of the Zen market. It generally averages to around 100 Zen per key. That will, of course, vary depending on what discounts you can get. You should always be able to get 20% off. You can check my video with regards to Zen market coupons. However, you can get enchanted keys through VIP. Every day while you have VIP, you'll be able to go to your inventory and claim a bag here with an enchanted key. Those keys will go to the key section right here and be stored under useful items. You can see all the VIP benefits just here and rank one will give you an enchanted key per day. So whether you saved up a month's worth of keys or you went and spent about 3000s then, what should you now spend these keys on? What should you actually use them for? Well, the only thing is lockboxes. But it's all about opening the correct ones. Again, we're going to open 30 lockboxes and we're going to guaranteed, no matter of your luck, be able to upgrade three companions to mythic. You might get luckier and get other rewards to be able to even upgrade more of them, get a bunch of astral diamonds. Now these companions, where you get them will depend. You can get very simply dirt cheap epic ones from the auction house. You can see the prices of them just here, but their bonuses are going to vary on how effective they are. I do go through budget ones that you can get in budget builds that I create for all the different classes. Classes. I'm slowly working through all of them. I still miss some. But in terms of end game and best in slot, well, this would be somewhat of a setup you would use in multi target on any damage dealer. The only thing would be to, instead of to have the Spine Devil, the Batiri for boss fights. That one you will generally just get straight on Legendary at the Reaper's Challenge store from this pack. Just need to do 30 days of that Reaper's Challenge for those marks. So that would be even cheaper to upgrade. However, let's jump into exactly what lockboxes to open. Well, it's six of the newest ones. You can buy these lockboxes from the auction house, from other players. They shouldn't be that expensive. If they are, wait till the prices go back down again. People should have tons of these. There is the lockbox of Lost Knowledge. This one is going to give you guaranteed trade bars after you open 250. And that is the common thing across all the lockboxes. Right now, my progress is on zero opened. Even though it says 250, it will reset as soon as I open another one. I currently have no rewards, as you can see here. No trade bars, no astral diamonds, no upgrade tokens nothing and this will just be a true representation if you spent 30 keys and had nothing else but these lock boxes so you want the lock box of lost knowledge you want the lock box of shadowy flight then the miniature giant space hamster lock box the starlight armaments lock box which is actually the current one that you can buy right now from the wondrous bazaar and also just killing enemies that will drop for you then there is the lothian lock box and then there's the a tremendous lockbox. So all six of these right here. Again, you can buy them from the auction house from other players if you don't already have them. What you want to do is open five of each of them. Why? Because again, the guaranteed trade bars. We're going to go right ahead with the lockbox of lost knowledge, double click it and open it. We can see it just gave us a legendary ranky. All right. The next one. 25 insignia powder, five preservation wards, a boar companion, and we finally open five and get 
the 250 trade bars. Now we're on to the next lock box. This one gives us guaranteed trade bars here. 10 of them, which is nice. We open another. We get another 10. Another, we get 15. And this one, 10. And this one, 10 plus the 250 bonus. Again, you could get really lucky and actually get some useful rewards from here, even within your first five. I went and opened the latest lockbox once and got a mythic insignia. And I was like, yeah, I don't really want to open more because I know from there my luck's probably just going to be worse. So we opened these five as well. Got a bunch of trade bars too. Some other, yeah, not such valuable rewards. But then we go to the next lockbox. This Starlight one also going to give us guaranteed trade bars each one we open. We even got uh, Overload. And then we get to the five and that's also another 250 trade bars. And we go to the fourth lockbox. This one is a bit older as well. It won't give you like guaranteed trade bars but you can sometimes get these jackpots and then we're on to the final five the atramentus lockbox we just get these opened as well also won't give you guaranteed trade bars for each open but we'll give you the 250 so with opening all of those this was our rewards here we did get some like extra amount tokens there we did get some legendary dragon keys and we did get some extra rerolls but nothing amazing so how are we going to be able to upgrade these companions well the trade bars that you got you don't have a lot of time to take advantage of this as there is only five days and 19 hours upon recording this left of that event what this allows you to do is to go ahead and spend those trade bars to get those companion upgrade tokens and you're going to spend just two trade bars per token so we can buy a total of 901 of these upgrade tokens for you it might be a little bit more it might be a little bit less but you still should be able to get enough to upgrade three epic companions to mythic so right now if we have this set up and we have those 900 tokens that we got just from those 30 keys. We can go ahead and spend 120 tokens to get it to legendary and then 150 to get to mythic. Now also let's check what item level we'll be getting. So for this example we're set at 50,000 item level and let's check back when we've done upgrading. So I would highly recommend to get the Neverwinter Knight upgraded if you had it there for the damage dealer. So that's 120 and then 150. From there, probably Minsk if you have them. 120 and 150. You'll want to get these all upgraded at some point. And from there, it's a hard decision. Do you want the Spine Devil? He can be very good as summoned as well. Do you want the Tamed Raptor for getting the power boost here when in a group where everybody else is using a Raptor? If you regularly run with friends who also use this companion, then I highly recommend getting him as a priority. Otherwise, there's the Batiri from the Reaper's Challenge. If you have him already, get him upgraded to Mythic and use him here instead of like the Spine Devil for boss fight damage. But here we'll just upgrade the Spine Devil. Very good in multi-target content. Very good out there questing in zones for some extra damage. Also using him as summoned, he's very good. Cause that vulnerability on the bosses and just then everybody can deal more damage. And so we have those three mythic companions now. All you needed was 30 enchanted keys. And this gives us an item level boost of 3000 as well. Not too bad, all things considered. However, you might not have enchanted keys at all because perhaps you're free to play and you haven't had enough time for your astral diamonds to get exchanged here. If you're on Xbox, that shouldn't be a problem to do so instantly, but on PS and PC, it can take months and on PC even up to nine months. Now you can create a cycle where you're always getting enough Zen to get enough VIP to continue to get keys every day. And that's what I highly recommend. But again, if you're very new, you might not have that at all. And so your best option is getting Astral Diamonds every day. First of all, the easiest option, your random queues. Just get these done. They give you a big bonus of rough Astral Diamonds. And then every day you can refine that to get 100,000 Astral Diamonds. Now what you can do with those astral diamonds is to go and buy astral lockboxes. 
On the Wanderers Bazaar, you can spend 85,000 Astro Diamonds for an Astro Lockbox. However, if you have VIP, you get that down to just 60,000 Astro Diamonds, but that is rank 12 VIP. Without that, you may very well be better off just going to the auction house and buying these Astro Lockboxes from other players. 100 for 6.68 million that's 66,000 per box so that would be cheaper than if you yeah didn't have vip and went and bought them from the bazaar what is special about those astro lock boxes i'll just buy some here on the preview server to show you is that they do not need an enchanted key to open and every single box will guaranteed give you minimum 20 trade bars the other rewards are abysmal you barely get anything good in these other than the trade bars so only open them for the trade bars don't expect to get any of the fancy rewards that are listed there just open for trade bars and it's a very good deal that amount of astro diamonds for this many trade bars which results in lots and lots of upgrade tokens again during the discount event if you don't have this event active and you missed it and you're late watching this video, then wait, be patient and this event will come around again. If you don't want to be patient, you'll be just spending a lot more. So hopefully this was somewhat insightful. What to spend those first 30 enchanted keys on. If you just spend them all on one lockbox, that's okay, but you'll lose a lot of value versus just opening the first five on all of those if you haven't done so already. Massive thank you again to all of these shadow members for their added support. And we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.